Chapter 9. The Price of Survival In the peace of the farmer's house, where they were briefly safe, Meili and Kongzi battled with the high price of survival. Their short-term comfort was matched by an unstated understanding, a cost related to the protection and haven they were provided. The farmer softly made hints about having to ask for the payment, troubled by his fears of providing home to criminals on the run his once warm and warm stare now held a hint of expectation, a silent reminder of the costs tied with their continued stay. A tacit agreement that safety came at a price started to take shape as Meili and Kongzi sought protection in the farmer's home. The farmer's hidden expectations and hints at a debt they were expected to pay back for the protection provided. They went a great distance and used up all of their limited resources. Their thanks for the farmer's kindness had been masked by the size of their debt, which reduced what a haven they had discovered. The unspoken deal, a cost for their continuous protection, sat heavily in the air as it was spoken back and forth in the small home's corners. Meili and Kongzi, divided between admiration and cold reality. Their kids, with their naive view of the world around them, kept enjoying the brief happiness of safety. Their smiling filled the room, an unconscious reminder of how delicate their home was, even in the course of the serious talks. Meili and Kongzi, united by their constant affection for their kids, discovered themselves in danger. Their conscience suffered by the high price of survival, which put their morals to the test and determined how much they were going to give up. Within the calm of their shelter, a harsh reality became clear. The cost of safety in a dangerous environment sometimes involved sacrifices that went beyond basic needs. They were left to deal with the cold facts of survival's cost as the farmer's kindness, which used to be a ray of hope, now stood as local to the difficulties they faced. Chapter 10. Hope Amidst Hardship Meili and Kongzi found light of confidence throughout their hardships that showed them the way forward. The home, which had been a haven for people with hidden debts, was now an environment for people with drive and determination. A ray of confidence appeared as they managed the difficult balancing act between appreciation and gratitude. The farmer relaxed the unwritten conditions of Meili and Kongzi, seeing the honesty in their hearts. The amount of debt appears to lessen as a mutual appreciation for the difficulties of living took its place. The family became stronger every day because of the little pleasures in life, such as the warmth of the fireplace, their kids laughing, and the stories they told each other that woven an embroidery of friendship across their small home. Once an odd figure, the farmer turned out to be a surprise ally. He talked of those who had fought through like difficulties and come out on the other side with healthy spirits. Meili and Kongzi found a personal power that overcame the physical difficulties of their voyage, led by these stories of hope. The plain, simple walls of the farmer's house reflected the change taking place within, a change that was driven by a common devotion to familial safety and courage. Meili and Kongzi saw a future where the brightness of opportunity may replace the shadows of rejection and the burden of survival's cost. Within this shelter of hope, the haven, which was previously burdened with unpublished commitments, was now filled with the strength of a family that refused to let their struggles define them. Meili and Kongzi welcomed the hope that came out of difficulty as the sun went below the horizon lighting everything around them in a warm glow. They were ready to confront the challenges ahead with a newfound strength that had been created in the hot oven of their shared trip. Chapter 11. The Journey Continues Meili and Kongzi, their spirits raised by their newfound self-resilience, were ready to set out again on their adventure, hearts reinforced by their newfound hope. Once a brief security, the farmer's home served as an entry point for their journey towards a future free by attack kindness and a resolve to move ahead in spite of the questions linger in their souls as they said goodbyes to the farmer and his family. The raw beauty of the wilderness hid the difficulties that awaited them as it called once more. With her eyes focused on the distance, Meili wanted to give their kids a better life one without fear and limitations. Kongzi carried the burden of responsibility with unshakable determination, as well as his commitment seen in every wrinkle on his tired face. Even with the weight of the past on his shoulders, his movements had a regularity that carried them forward. Their resilient and adapting children welcomed the challenge with honest interest blind due to the difficulties that lay ahead. Their laughter was a ray of hope in the face of ambiguity. There were dangers ahead, undiscovered turns, and invisible constraints. 
But with a newfound feeling of purpose, Meili and Kongzi walked forth into the unknown, encouraged by the hope that had developed within them. Every stride they took on the twisting footpaths of the woods was loud with resolve, a sign of their forever resolve to forge a future free from the limitations of an oppressive government that would allow their family to prosper. They kept traveling, an adventure inspired by the waning rays of hope that lighted their way and pointed them in the direction of a future in which the shadows of their past would be taken away by the light of opportunity and freedom. Chapter 12. Desperation and Determination Desperation and determination went hand in hand on the trek into unknown areas, creating the family's resolve. Once a sign of new promise, nature now presented endless difficulties that tried their resolve. The environment became more difficult, with practically hard impediments at every turn. Their distress increased by the lack of goods, which motivated them to press on in spite of their terrible lack of sleep. Meili's undying love for her children and her hope for a future free from discrimination were the sparks that drove her firm dedication. Even though she sometimes ordered, her steps showed a strength that did not give in to the difficulties of the flight. The family was supported by Kongzi's unwavering strength over the difficult environment. His determination, a rock in the face of ambiguity, offered stability during their difficult journey. Despite their strength, their children started to feel the stress of the long trip. Their once innocent laughter now gave up against a backdrop of exhaustion and anxiety, serving as a reminder of the toll that the expedition took on each member of the family. As the difficulties grew, Pushing the boundaries of their endurance, despair seeped into their hearts. The hope that had kept them going so far promised to be overpowered by the weight of earlier hardships. However, despite the hopeless situation, determination flashed brightly. Driven by their common ambition for a better life, Meili and Kongzi did not give in to the hardships that promised to overcome them. Even in the face of difficulty, their constant courage and determination served as a light to direct them through the most difficult moments of their trip. Chapter 13. Faces from the Past Unexpected relationships formed amid everything of the woods. Ghosts from their past entwined with the present, shrouding their voyage in a cloud of memory and complexity. In the center of an unfamiliar surroundings, Meili and Kongzi, their hearts heavy with the weight of their purpose, came across familiar faces. They met individuals who had been moved by similar circumstances in their community in the most surprising of locations. Weak moments of connection built in the common challenges of their community caused eyes to expand with awareness. But below the surface of familiarity, there was a nervousness, a caution grounded in the ambiguity of their situation. Their common path was woven together by their shared experiences, which created an image of shared hopes and disappointments. However, the past was not without its difficulties a signal of danger that lingered above familiarity. Even in the middle of a shared past, trust remained a valuable resource in the wilderness where survival was of the highest priority. Kongzi and Meili had to walk the line between care and familiarity when their past and present clashed. Their journey became more difficult as a result of their relationship with villagers, which brought to light the complex network of ties that threw their shared history. Meili and Kongzi carried what was left of their past memories of the community they left behind along with the solve to establish a new path towards a future free from the attachments of their previous lives as the passing encounters with known faces were gone into the empty spaces of the wilderness. Chapter 14. The Final Stretch Meili and Kongzi arrived at the last part of their journey, the memories of their past fading into the distance. There was a physical vibration in the air, and suggesting that their long journey was about to come to an end. As they got closer to their objective, the surrounding area changed greatly. It was a sanctuary that other passengers had only heard whispers about, where safety and liberty awaited those who dared to oppose evil rule. With each step came a burden of expectations and lack of energy, the marks of their struggle etched on their faces. Meili's constant will acted as a beacon, pointing their tired souls in the direction of a chance of a brighter life. Kongzi's solid dedication cleared the way forward as he kept his eyes set on the distance and felt the weight of his search with each step. Although being worn down by the struggles, their kids had the same determination as their parents because they wanted to live honestly. Every challenge they overcame as they reached the finish line felt like a win and was confirmation of their strength and bond as a family. The land, 
harsh as it was, could not destroy the spark of hope that glowed within them. With every stride, the sanctuary, a far-off light on the horizon, came closer. Their worn spirits were raised by the imaginary promise of safety and freedom, which was the result of their joint sacrifices and firm will. With the weight of their past hardships pushing them ahead of you, Meili, Kongzi, and their kids fought to the last kilometer. They fought through the hardships, their hearts burning with the hope that their newfound freedom might one day cast behind the memories of their past. They were getting closer to the end of their journey with each positive, prepared to welcome the safe haven that waited for them. A sign of their strong will to live a life of freedom and hope. Thanks for tuning in. For more enlightening content and a detailed summary, visit www.mybooksummary.com. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Let's inspire and empower each other. Subscribe to our channel and share our videos with your friends and family.